Then below we have the Unison section. This is probably the, the best area of the global settings and the one that you might find yourself going to the most, um, particularly this width control here. Um, if you remember me mentioning when I was first talking about Unison that detuning uh, on its own doesn't cause any extra stereo width. Um, however, these Unison voices are actually panned left and right as default. And if you want to bring them into the center, you need to go to the global settings and then bring down this width. Just so you can hear that, if I increase the number of Unison voices. So there we have five voices in total to either side of the main central one. And there's a bit of detuning there, but there's also uh, quite a bit of width. But if I go to the global section and bring that width down, you'll hear it goes all to the center and becomes mono. So here's where you can control that, which is, um, which is very handy. And you've also got all sorts of additional parameters here for playing around with your unison voices, including giving them their own individual warp amount, um, their own wavetable position, um, which we'll hear if, for example, I add uh, some bend. And then I go to the global and I give them all their own individual warp amount. It just gives it a bit more interest and also a bit more spread. So you can also play around the wavetable position of each one, which is very cool. You can stack them up uh, in various ways uh, across different octaves. And you can set the spread of them. Um, at the moment, it's set to linear, so they're equally spaced, but you can change the, um, change the spacing and the detuning amounts as you like there. For example, let's just show you random. Uh, if I now go to my unison voices and click on it, you can see they are, rather than being evenly spaced, are kind of randomly positioned there. So again, it allows you to create extra interest and variation in your sounds as a result of their unison voices. And finally, at the top, as I didn't mention it, this is the range of detuning. So at the moment, it's already set quite high, probably higher than you'd need it. But if you wanted to go really high, you can go ridiculously high there um, than with this random setting, you can create all sorts of mental effects. Mm -hmm. 